one of the things I've found when teaching students in engineering is that very often students don't recognize that they're bringing with them uh, a toolkit which contains tools that they've learned from different classes. I typically teach uh, a class called Thermo Introduction to Thermodynamics, Fluid Mechanics, and Heat Transfer. It's a sophomore level course, and it's very problem-based. Uh, some students describe it perhaps as theoretical, uh, although in fact most of the time I'm trying to provide the students with an approach to solving problems. And it necessarily involves mathematics. It's, mathematics is the language, if you like, of, of science and engineering to a large extent. And sometimes this causes problems with students because they only see mathematics as a self-contained subject. Many of the problems I give are kitchen sink type problems. Literally, I might be uh, giving a related rate problem where uh, a sink is being filled up at a certain rate and is draining at a certain rate, and you have to calculate, you know, at what time, at what point the, the sink will be will be full. They're very trivial problems, and some of them are not so trivial when you're talking about uh, doing energy balance on power station systems. All of these actually are, are straightforward, involve very simple mathematics, typically no more than um, occasionally some calculus and typically just linear algebra, multiplication, subtraction, and division. Uh, but the problems occur in several steps, and the trick is learning how to write down a statement, if you like, which represents the conservation of energy or balance of energy for a system. How to write that down in general, symbolic, mathematical terms. And then take a long look at it and decide how much information you have about the system. Uh, if you haven't got the information, you've got two choices. You can try and get it, or you can, maybe you're lucky. If you're lucky, you can reason that that term is not very important and you can neglect it from your uh, calculation. And then when you've got a set of equations that you can solve, and the rule is um, that you have to have the same number of equations as you have for un same, the, the number of unknowns that you have. Then you can go ahead and solve it. It's usually pretty simple. How to become good at this? There's, there's one answer, and I, I give this answer to students who ask me this question in all my classes, is to do the, do the problems. Don't just do the assigned uh, problems for the homework, which sometimes tend to be you know, somewhat substantial. Do all the problems around them, particularly the ones that look like they're short. Why? Well, it's just that if you want to make the track team and there's ten runners and they're only taking six, then you've got to beat out a whole bunch of other runners. How do you get to do that? Well, you see how fast they are, and if you're not faster than they are, you train harder. How do you train? You get up in the morning and you run. It's the same, it's the same as being an engineer. If you want to be an engineer, you have to train at what you will be doing. And some people require a little bit more training than others. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, when I was a student, it took me a while to recognize that that I was good at mathematics, but I wasn't that good. Uh, and so when I got th after I got through my first year in university, I, I started to realize that I actually had to open a book and do the problems. Uh, I went to a school where they didn't grade homework, they didn't even assign it. Uh, you just had to figure it out for yourself. And I found that it was easy to get information from professors if you went along with problems that you tried and could not solve. Obviously the ones you got an answer to, you could double check to see whether it was correct or not. Uh, and they were quite happy to give you some guidance as to how to do that. You'll find the same, I think, at most universities, certainly at, at the one uh, we're at here. And so do the homework problems, but do more than the homework problems. If you're having trouble, you just need to do more problems. It's, it's, it's a question of you know, becoming fit, if you like, in that particular subject. And, I, and that's what I recommend. You, know, you, can't, you can't do enough of the short problems. And of course, nobody likes finding out, when you flip to that part of the book, uh, that you didn't know the stuff. You know, it's easy to sit down with a yellow highlighter and highlight the chapter. But did you learn anything? Only one way to find out in most engineering classes is to turn to those problems and do them. You should be able to do them all.